Hi, this is Joseph. It is Thursday, April 23rd, 2015. This is an update. First of all, I'd like to apologize for those of you who have been coming back to the website looking for updates on the website performance page. I have been very ill over the past few days and last week uh, I ended up actually with strep throat and I've been recovering over the past couple of days. I have executed some trades but I have not been able to actually make videos so I was trying to conserve my strength, conserve my voice and uh, I'm feeling much better today. So uh, what we had was a total of three trades. We had one losing trade which was a minus 21 pips on the euro dollar up here at the top left and then we had two other trades afterwards. So we were able to earn back the loss on the euro dollar shortly after and then we had another trade which was looking like some sort of breakout here on the euro yen. Now the euro yen did move up a little bit but you can see how choppy it was during this morning's uh, economic data during the New York market. When I see the potential for price to possibly pull back like this substantially now that closed candle there is at 129.25 and then that low there goes as low as 82. That's a pretty big move. That's a pretty big pullback and I don't want to get into a trade going long if I'm going going to be using a small stop loss and then have it get tagged as a result of economic data and then eventually move up. So what I do is I stay away from opportunities where I might experience a pullback that could knock me out of the trade and then I wait for a second entry opportunity which is exactly what we did and we were able to earn 17 pips on this move to the upside and then at that point I stopped and I closed the position and I didn't really expect any more out of the trade. It, it is reaching some short-term resistance points and I don't know how much further it's going to continue up. We've already traded a few moves to the upside and we're going to have to wait until the market closes for today to reassess the daily candles. Uh, the four-hour chart as well and then to look at the economic calendar for Friday to determine whether or not we can expect this pair to continue to move higher. If it does, we'll certainly trade it more to the upside. Now at this point, what we're doing is setting up our charts right here. You can see with this dotted line, this is the rollover period that is set up with the MetaTrader platform. It'll automatically throw these dotted lines here, which are the period separators for 5 p.m. New York time and now we get the opportunity to start looking for the HL30 trade which could potentially earn us approximately 20 points every time we execute that trade and then maybe later on during the trading session during the New York or possibly even the London uh, we might be able to see a continuation breakout trade which could earn at least more than double what we earn with the uh, HL30s. So we're going to have some positive trades during the London and New York trading session we're all set up and ready to go, and I will have another update video after the New York trading session on Friday. If you like this video and you want to get more information about these trading strategies, please click the subscribe button so that you can get instant notification when I put up a brand new video tutorial. Or you can visit my website right now by clicking the visit my website button and I have some free trading manuals for you and extra video lessons with some special discount offers to use my Forex signal service that will automatically execute all of these trades for you onto your MT4 account.